Chef Devin Rajkumar is here to make us a, wait for it, butter chicken lasagna in the Daily Dish. Okay, Chef, what is the backstory on this mashup, my friend? I grew up loving lasagna. It's one of those mm. dishes that's comfort food. It's a great way to use up a lot of stuff that you might have in the fridge. If yes. you have leftover ground chicken, if you have basil that's going off, maybe carrots, I mean, other mm -hmm. types of vegetables, it's a great way to get it in there. And then I grew up with like makni sauce or makana's butter, right? So mm -hmm. butter chicken sauce is what we're going to be using today with leftover ground chicken to make a butter chicken lasagna. Yes! There's no rules in my kitchen. Yes! I do whatever I want, mm -hmm. and I mean, I don't want anybody at home to be handcuffed by specific recipes yeah. and not feel like they can do something. Yes, so, I love that. So butter chicken, you love. Lasagna, you love. Mashup. Just put everything in the lasagna. I love lasagna, so now it's a butter chicken lasagna. It doesn't get better than that. So before we begin here, I'm going to give them a list of ingredients that you need for the dish. There they are. So get them together and let's cook. Uh, where do we start, chef? So here we have some ground chicken that's been cooked and seasoned with salt. Mm -hmm. The thing with butter chicken, you might say, oh, okay, so we're going to make butter chicken today, but it's very complicated. It's a little bit technical. Okay. When you're cooking East Indian cuisine, desi type cuisine, it's a lot of balancing, caramelizing the onions properly, adding the tomato at the right time, mm. managing the acidity of that. There's a lot of different factors that go into it. Okay, now so you're I scaring it, me. That, but this is what I'm doing though, right? Because <laughs> I made it really simple. So we okay. have my butter chicken sauce here. Okay. And this is available all over the place. You know it's mine because my face, my, not my face, we took my face off it, but yeah, my logo's that. on it, Your my name's on it. Your face looked good on it. What if I shave though? These oh, are things, so we took yeah. the face off all the jars. Got it, okay. And it, I need a lot of makeup and stuff. <laughs> so let's get it out of here, okay? So we have butter chicken sauce and I'm gonna add that in here. Okay. to my ground chicken. So all yeah. you have to do is syrup turkey, syrup shrimp, yes. syrup eggplant, syrup mm -hmm. to whatever it is, and then we can pour our sauce in. Immediately I can smell garam masala, mm -hmm. which is a hot spice blend. I can smell that kasuri methi, which is fenugreek leaves. Okay. And that's a very important ingredient. So when you mix this together, now you have your butter chicken meat sauce. Yeah. You start a little slower, you end up wearing some of it, okay? <laughs> so butter chicken meat sauce is here. Then we start building out the lasagna. And I don't want anyone to be intimidated by lasagna. Why don't you just give me a little bit, a layer of the marinara sauce that's over there. Okay. And we put this first layer because... You don't want it to stick. We don't want it to stick. Why am I here? Okay, that's enough. Yeah, okay. Just, just, just a little kiss, okay? Got it. And that way it stays I just like, those like that. I like noodles. Next, do you want to do this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's add some of the butter chicken uh, meat sauce that's here. Okay. And we want to do a thin layer. It really depends at oh. home how many layers you want. If you right. want multiple layers, six, seven, eight, nine layers, then you go very thin on oh, the filling. Okay. And if you want them, you know, three or four layers, then you can go thicker. If I, your children are yelling at you, Mom! Hungry. Yeah. Just, just don't worry about the layers. Just get it in there. I would definitely. Yeah, that's right? perfect. Now we're gonna come in with our next layer. We press this down. You nice. might be asking, what are you doing? Are those bakeable? What's going on here? Yeah, a what are those? A lot of store. See, a can lot I do of these? Stores can I do chicken? More no. chicken, or do you want cheese? Pamet, no. We're gonna okay. go with the ricotta. Okay. Okay. So extra fine ricotta is going in and yeah. basil. You might think. Butter chicken sauce, basil, trust me, it works. We have like Bet floral, it does. herbaceous, it is beautiful flavor. So you're gonna do that, you're gonna do some basil leaves as well. Okay. But I was talking about the pasta. Yeah, tell us about that pasta. So fresh pasta sheets are now available all over the place in the majority of grocery stores. Yeah. So these are awesome because they're super soft when you bake them. And then what happens is with these is that you don't have to bake them first. Mm -hmm. So they sell them in sheets like this. You get packages for like 360 grams, and that's how I designed my recipe, which is on City Line's website. Lovely. And this is nice and pliable. It lasts a respectable amount of time. Or you can just go ahead and make fresh pasta sheets at home. You could. But who really has time these days, right? We yeah. come home from work. We need to get dinner on the table for our family. Yeah. This is a great way to do it. Also, when we're assembling this lasagna, please put more basil. When we're no assembling this lasagna, we can do this and freeze it. Mm -hmm. and then let it defrost uh, in the fridge overnight and then yeah. you can bake it and you have a meal ready to go. Yeah, so so this is the thing when we're, we're assembling. I'm always like, who's going to get this piece and there's not a lot of basil, right? So I'm going to ask you to go right out to the corners. Okay. You know when someone's, someone's doing like a peanut butter and jam sandwich and they miss the corner? My mom every day when she gave me those sandwiches. There we go. That and I was great. upset about it and now I'm doing it. I'm Love carrying it. on the trauma. We're also going to get some mozzarella in here right now Very too. Very nice. And we want this to go around to mm. all the different corners. Ooey gooey cheesy. And then we're going to come here and then butter chicken lasagna. Also, you're going to give that a gentle press down as well. 
Okay. That way we can fit more ingredients. Butter chicken sauce comes on top. All right. Beautiful. And then we're going to spread that out. And then you're going to put some more mozzarella cheese on top. Yes. And then how do you feel confident to grate some parmigiano on top of that? You grate the parmigiano. <laughs> Okay, done, done, done. So, yeah, once you get it, so we're going to pretend that's corner to corner. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to come in with... And then I'm going to cut, I'll do it right here. I'll be here. over here. And then we take it, you know it's DOP, because we have the name on. Certified. The back. That's denominazione d'origine protetta, okay? You so see me DOP. putting it in the corners? Do you see me putting it in the corners now? Kill I'm it. trying to fix the situation from here yeah what we do is we put a sheet of parchment yeah and then we put the foil if we don't put the parchment and we bake it the cheese is going to stick to the foil yes no bueno right right so, so what i'm going to do is show you what happens that's when you lick the foil when it comes out so i just baked one off oh it's hot so i just baked this off here okay look at it it's so pretty it's beautiful and uh, I just boiled it here. Also, a very important thing with lasagna when you're making it is when it comes out of the oven, don't serve it right away. We want to let it set yeah. a little bit. And let's see what kind of a square we're going to get. Oh, oh my God, yes. It's beautiful. This oh, goes down stunning. here. We have some additional basil leaves yeah. that I'm going to put on top. There you go. If you wanted to kiss this with just a little bit of olive oil. You're more than welcome to, to make it really, really pretty. But uh, this is a really cool mashup. This is inspiration from Gorgeous. places I've traveled and dishes that I love, okay? Beautiful fusion. Chef Dove does it right. Delicious.